Hi, my name is Ben Tommy Eriksson and I want to show you how to make liquid water or some other liquids in tutorial in the tutorial in Lightwave. The first thing I need to do is go to item and dynamic and add some particles. The particles is what's going to be the water. So I call the particle emitter water and add it to the scene. Raise it a little bit up. So I can see it. I like to animate this thing when I'm working with this. I try to increase the birth rate and the limit, if, limit in uh, how many particles in the scene at the same time. And some other thing, it's the lifetime of the particles. My animation is only 100 and 20 frames so the lifetime of this particle don't have to be higher than this. The next thing I need to do is adding some gravity. I like to do it separately. And now you can see that the water is flowing but the gravity is much higher in the real world. I adding 9.8 standard and you can see the water is is falling clearly naturally the next thing I want to do is to have something that's happening to the water I'm going to increase this the camera setting so we can see a little bit more here because of my small screen the next thing is to add a collision so the water is has something to hit. I'm increasing this collision objects 250 pounds percent, and I'm going to clone this item just to make this even a little bit more interesting. And you can see here the water is bouncing around on these collision objects. But if I now try to render this the scene is black totally black and the reason for this is I haven't added some uh, hypervoxel yet under the FX tools you have some bottom make hybrid voxels and I click this every object you have in the scene will be in this list and if I go to water and activate this then the water is going to render I set some particle size and now I'm going to change how uh, the shading of, of this particle to mimic the water. The color of water I set to black, diffusion is zero and sorry diffusion is nearly 100% and specularity is also about 90, 100 and the glossiness is the same. The water isn't showing especially good now and there is several reasons for this. The water I add reflection about 20, 30 degrees percent and transparency about the rest of 100 percent but to make the water look very naturally I need to act, add some background and then go to background options and add some sky chase I can enable some clouds to, to even make it more naturally now the water is way better. In the real world the water has some refraction and I can add that too. The problem with refraction is rendering time is very very increasing. Make a render of this, see how it looks.
Yes, I'm back. So this is the first test. And this is how the water looks. We can maybe increase the reflection and maybe the transparency of this object a little bit. And maybe we are going to increase the size of this. And that's turned in under geometric. And maybe 250 will be a little bit more realistic. Maybe 300. I like to turn off this refraction index when I'm working so it's rendered much faster. It, this is more the way I like it so I think we're going to leave this for now and I'm going to render the movies so you can see how it looks like. I hope you like my tutorial and please please subscribe and uh, thank you for watching.